Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to add Pokestops and Gyms from Pokemon Go into pogomaps.info. So this is a great website to help build your community and show everybody around when they come into your town where exactly every Pokestop, Gym, Nest, EX Raid is. Then you, got, you can also add tasks or if a Pokemon spawns you can put it on this map. It's a great tool to sh help the, w the community out and show everybody where something is. Alright, so in this video, like I said, I'm going to be showing you how to add Pokestops and Gyms. So as you can see, I've already, I've already submitted all these Pokestops and Gyms for my community personally. There are just a couple that I've not done yet just for this tutorial. So I currently have a hospital down here which is, has a Pokestop and a Gym at. So what we're going to need to do first is we're going to need to log in to Pogo Map, which you can just log in with one of these four. There may be more down in the future. I'm not sure, but as of right now, there's four. So I'm just going to log in with my Gmail, and it'll automatically log in since I already have an account. As you can see, I'm already ranked 14. Just, I guess, all right. I'm not sure how well that is on the whole thing, as there is going to be a leaderboard later on. Not sure when, though. I'm going to switch myself to OpenStreetMap, which is much nicer and more up-to-date for accurate locations and stuff. So my hospital's down here. What I'm going to do is zoom in. Ooh, a little too far. There we go. All right. And then what I'm also going to use is Ingress Intel Map. So what this does is there's a game that Niantic, which the creators of Pokemon Go, also have a game called Ingress which every Pokestop in Pokemon Go is based off every, what's called portals in Ingress. It's based off every location in Ingress. So what we're going to need to do is if I, you need to create an account to log into this website. So what you would do is download the Ingress game onto your phone and then create an account. And then you can go onto this website, the Intel website, and sign in with that and since I already have an account I'm just gonna log straight in there we go redirect all right and we're already at the hospital as you can see so this is the hospital here so in ingress at the hospital which is right here there is currently this portal for the Saint Joseph statue which is actually in Pokemon Go is not a Pokestop for specific reasons on how Pokemon Go adds Pokestops. I will leave a link in the description on of how they are converted over from Ingress to Pokemon Go in the description. Trainer Tips, he did a great video explaining exactly how everything works and how to add specifically gate or Pokestops or sorry portals from Ingress into Pokemon Go. But, like I said, I'm not going to go over that. He, you can watch his video if you'd like. So, this in Pokemon Go is a Pokestop. And this one down here is a gym. As you can see, I currently control this Poke, or this uh, portal. Sorry. So, what we're going to do is we're going to first go back to the Pogo website. I'm going to close that. So, you're going to go to Add Map. Because we're going to be adding the Pokestop first. You click Pokestop. Now it gives you two options down here when you click that. Normal and Sponsored. So the difference between Normal and Sponsored is a normal location is submitted by the community. This is basically every portal in Ingress that comes over would be a regular, a sorry, a normal type of status. Sponsored are different kind of locations, like in my area, there is Sprint and Boost Mobile. Those are sponsored locations because they pay Niantic money to have those locations in the game. And since this is a church, as you can see, it's First Baptist Church, it is definitely not going to be sponsored. So I'm going to hit OK as normal. And so what you want to do is get a rough location of where it is, which is around here somewhere. It does, it's fine that you don't get exact, because we'll make it exact here in a second. 
So the title, which is the portal name, which we already know is First Baptist. Go copy this. Go back here and paste it in. Now we're going to edit the exact longitude and latitude, which will allow us to be precise with the placement of our Pokestop. You want to make sure you're always precise with it because sometimes if you put it just off a little bit, it can actually throw off the map a bit. Uh, for other reasons, if you watch that tutorial, like I said, he'll explain why it would actually throw it off. But just skipping that, we're going to do it exact. So we go, we're going to take this input, and what we'll do is go back to the map, make sure this portal is selected, go hit link, and then grab the map link, copy that, come back here and just paste it right in. It automatically will change these coordinates. And then hit confirm this location already exists in game, which I know it does because I spend this at least once a day. And then hit add to map. And then it automatically gives you some RP, which is XP for this, which helps you level up later, higher ranks, special or perks later down the road. And then now it's added. Now, sometimes at a lower level, you might have to wait for it to be approved by the system. As you level up, you will have a, it will auto, it will instantly just add it straight to the map for you. For me, it just automatically adds it. All right, so now that's, that's added. We want to add the gym, which like I said, is right here. Lakes, Lake Stringer Cemetery. I think that's how you say it. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure. So. Like I said, this is a gym, so we're going to hit copy the name real quick, since I'm already on that, and then we're going to go back here, hit gym. This is definitely not a sponsor location, like I said, so I'm just going to leave it normal. Rough idea, I think somewhere around there. Alright, copy and paste the name. Go back here, since it's selected, go to link, copy the link for it. Go down here, paste. It does exist, and add to map. Exact same process. Now, there's a cooldown for the RP, just so you know. So that's why I didn't receive any RP that time. It's because uh, there's a specific, like, two, three minute cooldown between it, which uh, I'm fine with not getting the RP. Some people might not, so you'll have to wait a couple minutes, usually, before you post your next one. But that's all right. All right, now that's added. Sometimes a picture will automatically be added. Sometimes not. It just depends on it doesn't actually grab any picture from ingress like the portal like see how there's a picture here it won't actually grab that for legal reasons obviously copyright but as up here let's see if this one loaded a picture no it did not that's all right i know here in my town there's at least one up here show it off yeah this gym right here our bowling alley our local one it automatically grabs a picture from the Google Maps Street, Open Street View, something like that. But since there's no actual spot for this, this is not going to have a picture. There might be, you might be able to submit pictures later on. Right now you can't, but who knows? You might be able to later on. All right, well, that's how you add Pokestops and Gyms. And if you're the one that created it, you can actually delete this if you need say you actually put the location wrong you accidentally put a misspelled this you can actually delete it real quick now currently there for right as of recording there is no editing option the developer has said he will be adding that as of recording there is not currently so you currently have to delete and then just re-add it like i just deleted that i'm just going to re really quickly copy this and just re-add it you say I accidentally put a wrong spelling in it. I can delete it, paste it back in. But since I copied and pasted it, it would be this. It would be correct, anyways. All right. And oh, I just got more RP. That's strange. I do plan to do a couple more videos to explain how adding nests work and reporting Pokemon's. I might do something on private. I'm not sure at the moment. So if you want to submit this as an EX Raid gym, which this is currently not, but you can always hit, click EX Raid Submit, and it will put this up to a vote for the map, 
once it hits a certain amount of votes, I'm not sure currently if what number it would take, but it will automatically then mark it as a raid. As you can see, we actually have a couple in my town over here. Yep. This one already has a star, and it says it's an EX raid gym. Once it loads, yep, see, EX raid gym. And say if this gym was actually not a gym, you could always mark it as a Pokestop. And once there's enough votes to make it a Pokestop, it'll automatically change to a Pokestop. Same goes for if a Pokestop is actually a gym. You can mark it as a gym, and it automatically, as it, if it gets voted up high enough, it'll become a gym. It's just all community-based to show you guys, to help the community grow. I hope that taught you guys something. If you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. I'll try to reply. Otherwise, they do. he does have a Discord. If you want, there's right here we are. So if you click the little dashboard icon, this will open up. Hit the Join Pogo Map Discord, and it will take you straight to their Discord. And you can always ask questions there if you ever need help. Well, I hope that helped. Have a wonderful day, guys.